Guys, I am Isa. Today, we're to learn how to design a card using HTML and CSS. We're going to make a tag. So, we're to say card design using HTML and CSS. The first thing we're going to do is write a div dot card. So, we're going to make a div with a class of card. That another div, the class of card dash image. So it's going to be where the card image is. Try it, but right now there's still nothing. So we're going to make another div with class of card dash text. So inside of it, we're going to put in a span of the class date. And we're going to say two days ago. I have that piece of text. And then we're going to make a H1. Or if we're gonna put the H1 at the beginning, we just say Oba Kids on the Oba Tech. Get a mic. Records. I'm not going to say H1, we'll just say Oba Tech. Academic records. We're going to make a P. So it's going to contain all of these text. So now I have that P. They're going to add in a and also div, which is a div class called text. So it's going to be div class card dash stat. I'm going to make a div the class of stat. So to have a div with a class of value, I'm going to say 2000 and another div with the class of value. It's going to say, I don't know, it can be anything you want. So, and for the second one, I'm going to write value 2. And when we put spaces in class, it means that that other one we wrote is another class. So, I'm like, uh, I'm going to copy the div class stat and paste it two times. I'm going to say 4,000 and then I'm going to do it in English and the last one. So, okay, so now we're done with the HTML. I'm going to go into our CSS. I'm going to do body. Give it a background of a 4 over 4 and how's that doing background? I'm going to do with 100 W and height 100 VH. We're going to changes. So we're going to do to display flex and align item center. Justify content center. So now the things I put in is the center. So I'm just going to give this H one a class of 
stuff that I'll tag. I want to give it a position of absolute. And the top. Top PX. Because now it's got put here. Also going to add in overflow hidden. I'm gonna do dot card. To save display. Grid. Go to the grid templates columns. This is three hundred px. Now take that. I want to do grid template rows and 300 px, 300 px, and 80 px. You know, so I need to do grid template areas. I want to say image. And then we get to say text, then stats. Then I'm going to add a font. Then we use any way you want. And then border radius of 18 px. And here we going to do background. White and box shadow. Need to say five px, five px, fifteen px. Let's choose the color. So EVA. Yeah, yeah. Now we have this. These good templates to two hundred and ten px. That's three hundred px. And that's that. Yeah, but I get that. It's you know, do dot card dash image. Do do grid area. Right image. I'm going to do background. URL and then the image you want. But the image is too big. I'm going to do background size cover. So now it's exact. I'm going to do the card text and then dot date you add a color of this and a font size 13px and this this is two days ago then dot card text p to do font size 15 px and it will be a bit more smaller i'm going to add the color gray and text align center now this p is like that the do dot hard text h2 want to do font size by 8px and also margin to option zero so not this title has no 
Oh, to do color black and text on center. This is supposed to be Cortex H1, H2. I'm going to do dot card stats and do red area stats and display grid. I'm going to about these things under it. I'm going to say grid template columns. I'm going to do one at four, one at four, one at four, and grid template rows one at four. I'm going to do a background. Supposed to be called stat, not stats. Okay, so now it's order, so now it's yellow. I'm going to do or the bottom right radius 15px and the bottom left radius of 15px. So now there's border radius. We're gonna do dot card stat and then dot stat. To do display flux line items center justify content center. Are they in the middle? I'm going to do flux wrap and then I'm going to do column and also padding 20 px display block. So now those are both on separate lines. I'm going to do the cards that button type. I'm going to want size. 11 px. I'm also going to add a text and line center onto here. So down the center. I'm also going to add an a text transform of uppercase. I'm going to do the cards that dot value. Font size 22 px. I'm going to duplicate the card. I'm going to already share that. I'm going to copy this whole div class card. Then paste it. The other div of the cost of card, card 2. It's going to have the class of card and the class of card 2. So, now I have two of these. And a card, two. I do margin left, and I 20 px. And now they're spaced out. So I'm going to change a bit of the values and values in, in here. So I'm going to change some of them. So yes, I'm going to change the image. 
so this image for the card too. And also, also give us a color so card two card dash two dash image. And it's gonna be oh yeah. G. Write the dot card. If I'm going to write the dot card to image, and I want to do background for and then other image. That I'm going to just do that chord two and dot chord image. I did that, but it's bit so you could just copy the background size cover. That was background size is not a bit too big. Just the I'm also going to start with the dot head. I'm going to give it a color of white. Yeah, it has a white color. I'm going to go to my HTML and give these H1s a class of A. I'm also going to do the same for the other one. I'm going to just start the dot A. I'm going to give it a background of black. I have black, black background. I'm also going to give them a color of white. I'm going to go to the dot card text H1. Let me put this color from black to white. I'm going to have white color. So now that's it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it, don't like to subscribe. So bye.